Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is Burgess Reaction Videos, TCR. What the heck am I doing? TCR 66. And I am Cindy B. Thank you very much for joining me here today. I'm pouring the water into the coffee pot, people. I'm just doing, doing stupid stuff. I put the water where the uh, coffee is. So anyway, um, first I turned it on. And first I <clears throat> turned it on and there was no water in it. I just put the coffee in there. And now I'm trying to pour the water on top of the coffee grounds. So, um... Yeah, I'm just making a quick breakfast. I let the building go down. Making a quick breakfast and uh, sucking on peppermint. I was outside getting some fresh air. It's a uh, 9-11. People, I have made several videos to show you the uh, furniture put together and uh, I deleted two of them and the other one I just, you know, was too tired to uh, go through the whole uploading and the uh, thumbnail. So I woke up this morning and realized I had not done it. Okay, and uh, I feel like my pill is just struggling to go down. So there is the table that I put together. I mean, you guys paid for the furniture and I showed you the boxes coming in and uh, I should have showed you the uh, put together pieces shortly after. I was finished. So here I am now. I'm having a bad day. <laughs> my foot is giving, my foot is in so much pain that I feel like I need a painkiller. Um, the pill feels like it's stuck somewhere in here that I just took for acid reflux. And uh, yeah, I have been in and out of the apartment for fresh air. Don't know what's going on. So that's a table. It's, it's a beautiful table. It's a big table, too. Beautiful and a, oops, beautiful and a big table. And the brand of the table is Better Homes and Gardens. But yeah, Better Homes, is it? Yeah, it's Better Homes and Garden Table. And it's solid pine. And I believe it's 58 inches. And it's seats. It says it seats six people, is what it says. When they showed the picture, there was uh, four chairs, six chairs at the table. So, yeah, you definitely comfortably get two people here. So, yeah, six people. And, um, I just have it set for one because I'm only one person. It was originally set for two. It was. I'm not going to keep the uh, tablecloth on there, but that's on there for now, and that's not going to be my regular um, centerpiece. It's going to be something else. I'll most likely be eating at this end. So I'll probably have a service for two on the table just to make it look pretty. Um, most of the time and that side over there um, I, I like to sit there with my laptop and stuff so um, <clears throat> but I'm gonna have breakfast right there today and you know I'll figure it all out how I'm gonna have my table it might just have a runner then again it might just be bare with something in the center and uh, I'll put my placemat there and my my, my uh, dishes it, set the table before I eat is what I'm trying to say. 
But this area right here, this, thing is in the way. this area right here is going to have a uh, buffet because my kitchen is so small and, you know, I'm going to have my uh, placemats and flatware and glasses and stuff in the, in the cupboards of the buffet. And then on top I'll have, um, it'll probably be my, um, my coffee bar. So, um, People, I just grabbed a, uh, I grabbed one of those uh, single serve pizzas. And that is what I'm having. So the day that I showed you all of the boxes was the day that I actually put every piece together. I put every single piece together the same day. That's what I do. And I told you all would not. But yeah. And then that box sitting over there on the floor. Every time I see my door, I get a little mad. They're going to have to work on my door. I'm not happy with that. So um, this box FedEx will be picking up. I told you about the mix up with the chairs and everything. Uh, you can't see. But these are the, uh, the outdoor chairs. Yeah, that's the best it's gonna get for the, you know, lighting. Uh, that's the best it's gonna get for the, for the lighting. I'll open that. See if you can see the chairs. Yeah. Um. So I I absolutely love the chairs. I absolutely love the chairs. I think they're very comfortable, and I also think that they're very attractive. And there ain't nothing fancy over here at my place. There ain't nothing fancy over here at my place. So that's the deal on that. And uh, people, I'm having good days and I'm having bad days. I don't know what's going on, but I guess I'll get some answers soon. I really do not know what's going on. I don't know if I'm just greatly affected from uh, all my time over there at the other place, or if um, it's some stuff that's going on on here. I really don't know. But I'm having a bad morning right now. I got the windows open. And, uh, so I just wanted to show you the furniture. The, the sofa, I'm going to be ordering the sofa soon. I keep changing my mind on which one I'm getting. But based on the stuff that I f found last night, I'm definitely... Uh, <laughs> definitely made up my mind on, on the sofa. <laughs> <laughs> Unless I keep looking and uh, seeing other stuff. But the stuff that I'm going to get is faux leather, actually. And uh, I think I'm going to go with the faux leather. I think it's going to be a nicer blend. Uh, I think it'll complement those chairs that are in there. And uh, I'm either going to go with the black or the chocolate brown. But then there's another one that is also faux leather and it's called, I can't remember what it's called, but it's in the brown family. So, um, 
That's going to be one of the two. It's going to be one of the two. Um, yesterday I was set on fabric. And it was gray. And then uh, late or early in the morning, I was definitely set on the faux leather. And I, I think that's what I'm going to go with. But I'm going back and forth between the black because I've never had black upholstered furniture. And I don't like big black refrigerators like you see back here and big black stoves. I like black wood and black metal, but um, black, you know, tables and chairs and stuff, bookcases, I'm cool with. But um, I've never considered a, a black sofa. So this, this particular sofa, the first sofa, that I'm thinking about going with is available in three colors that I love. The gray, it's available in the black, and it's available in this brown that I'm talking about. The other sofa is available in just one color, and it's a different, it's a different brown. I don't remember what they called it. And that brown is in. Now that I'm looking at those chairs, it probably wouldn't be a good match at all. Probably would not be a good match at all. So, it, it's interesting that the sofa that I have picked out is in it only available in three of my favorite color choices. For, um, for furniture. Just black is not um, something I've ever considered for a large piece of upholstered furniture. I get a black throw and stuff like that. But So we will see. But I'm looking at the room and I'm thinking black would actually be very nice. It would be different. But I would have to be careful with the throws and the pillows that I use. And uh, every time I make this video, I start doing all this talking about, you know, I, trying to figure out what's going to go with it. So, I'm thinking I'm going to go with the brown. I'm thinking I'm, I'm going to go with the brown or I'm going to go with the gray. Either will do. Either will do. But uh, this buffalo check that I have on the table, or whatever it's called, flat, I don't know what to call it. Uh, yeah, I got that for the kitty table. And it didn't work out with the kitty table either. It was just under $10. And, uh, you know how I use stuff. It's eventually going to be draped up or something, like it's, like it's a throw or something. It's 50 by 50, so it's going to get used, but um, I think it makes my table look too country, and I don't do country. <laughs> I don't do country, but I threw it on there because I didn't want to scratch up my table with the uh, with the plates, but it's a really pretty table is, is what it is, and the base of it, in the picture, it looked like it was bright white. I think the, ch the chairs look bright white too, but the base of the table is really, uh, the chairs are also better homes and garden. Um, the base of the table is sort of like a cream, it's sort of like a cream color. I absolutely, there's something very familiar about this table, it's like I had a table like it at some point in my life. I don't know, I don't know what it is, but as soon as I saw the picture of the table, I fell in love with it. Okay, now I'll tell you what's going on with the table. Just pulling stuff out of containers and you know try, trying to make something happen, but um, you know it's not going to be like that. I have something in mind for the center of the table, and I have something very particular in mind for the center of the table, and I'm going to ditch the tablecloth. But I love the table; it's a nice big table. 
I can see the buffet sitting back there and the coffee bar set up. Um, over here in the middle where I have that storage container, you'll notice most of the storage containers are not in here. I got finally got them to the closet, but they are not empty yet. So what's going to replace that? Okay, I'm going to change the pillow coverings on the uh, lum lumbar support pillows because they just don't go with my curtains. And I'm going to change those. But this thing, the storage container in the center is going to be replaced with a fireplace. going to re be replaced with a fireplace TV stand is what I'm going to do there. Fireplace TV stand. And on the wall opposite it will be the sofa and uh, I'm not sure. I know that there will be probably one end table, but I th I'm thinking about leaving my bike where it is. So, um, okay. Yesterday I made fried chicken, fried chicken breast, and uh, I, the only seasoning I had on it was parsley. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't, I still don't know what the seasonings are. The only seasonings I had on it was parsley, and um, fried it up in some olive oil, chicken breast, on the stems. Can't believe I burned up my pizza. Didn't even smell it. <clears throat> So I'm not even going to waste uh, a dish. <laughs> it's what I'm not going to do. I'm not going to waste the dishes in the sink are clean, but I'm not going to waste the dish on um, that. Yeah, um, I'm just here in the kitchen rinsing out my coffee cup. Sit down. Sit down and eat my pizza. kitchen just like at the other place a whole lot of stuff happens to my my person when I go in the kitchen I'm sitting at an adult table. Yeah. 
Yes, I'm eating out of the uh, air fryer basket. Yeah, the most difficult part about that first chair in there took me about an hour to put it together. The second one took about 20 minutes. This table was simple to put together. It was just adding the four legs. Bolts and screws. But even though it was laying on the floor, it took me about a half an hour to get it out the box. So as I was saying, my table will probably just have my centerpiece. Because um, I like to use my table. I like to use it as a desk. I like to do puzzles. And because the kitchen is so small, I'll probably be here at the table. You know, mixing stuff up when I start really cooking. So I found some things that they're going to have to take care of. They're going to take care of the fuse box. And my two GFCI or GF, whatever they're called, outlets in the kitchen. And the door situated. I do not want these people in here working on the floors. <clears throat> so I'm just going to cover the floors up with carpet. Got for the sneakers you guys sent me, and those big, super soft slippers y'all sent me. 
because these floors are hard, hard, hard. That lump. That's right, hard and lump. I put three scoops of coffee in here, it's still weak. So yeah, um, I got a lot of stuff that I need to organize. Don't feel like doing it. Ain't in no hurry to do it. Not gonna exhaust myself, not gonna kill myself trying to you need to get everything in order because when I'm dead and gone it'll still be here either neat in a neat state or in a disorganized state and it won't even matter. So I'm not trying to exhaust myself getting it together. Um, I have just I was in a hurry to make it function for me. So that, you know, I could take my shower, sit down, lay down, cook a meal, eat a meal. And we have that. I can sit comfortably in the living room and watch TV or read a book. I can sit at the table and, you know, um, do a mukbang or uh, whatever it is I want to do, whether it's a crossword puzzle or a jigsaw puzzle or eat a meal. And I am not a tablecloth kind of a person, but I have always liked the look of a tablecloth when it's, you know, put on this way. But this is not functional for me. This, this is, you know. So today, um, all of this will come off the table and uh, I might leave just the dish out for me and the flatware. is what I might do. Then again, I might just sit this in the center of it temporarily of a bare table. Because uh, I just ain't got time. All you young people, y'all got time for all of this stuff, but you know, Mine is not a decorate with me channel. <laughs> it's not a decorate with me channel. My foot. So I ain't got time for all of that. I do not. I'm not going to be washing the tablecloth every day or so on and so forth. And uh, I love my wine glasses, but when I get the buffet, they're going to be there. For now, I'm going to put these two back in the box, which I have up in the cabinet. I bought these, um, I think I bought these back in, Yeah, no, that originally I was supposed to have moved from that other place in March. March of the waves. I bought these sometime before then. Yeah, I, I used to love, I love a beautifully set table, I do. I do love a beautifully set table. But, um, I use my... I use my uh, dining space. How does this go? Four piece wine goblets, and uh, they're gonna go back in the box. And you know, when I'm in the mood, I will. When I'm in the mood, I will.
So you yeah, all of that off the table. And I'm just going to leave this here for now. Because uh, I just, I need it to be empty when I come to it. That's what I need it to be. Two years ago, maybe three, at Ross, still got tag on. Hey, most of the stuff in here that came from Ross still has on. It was on twelve ninety nine. I love stuff going shopping at Ross's, Ross, because you find stuff like this. But um, I'm gonna see if I <clears throat> can find a Ross nearby, because that's where I like to get all of my. Uh, Let me turn it that way. Oh my. I had it that way. I don't know how I had it, but you know how. There you go. Ain't got time to fool with it. Ain't going to stay there anymore. So, yeah. Because normally I don't put my coffee cup on a dish, but I put it on a dish today simply because I didn't want to get a coffee stain on the, uh, whatchamacallit? Tablecloth. People, I ain't got time for all that in my <laughs> I need to be able to come and sit the cup down. <clears throat> is what I need to be able to do. So we got rid of that. I'm going to put a couple of throws on those chairs over there. And, uh, yeah, that's what, the way that's going to be. So anyway... This computer is going to stay right here because I think it works well. I don't have the ring light. Um, in fact, here there's a ring light right here. Look, in this thing collecting everything, my glasses. This is the other ring light that I'm going to put together, the one that you guys bought for me. And it's going to sit right here. And this computer just sits up here all the time. <clears throat> so when I'm ready to make a video, all I do is come and boom, it, and it's got the thing back there. This is the charging station for it, and all of that. So, um, what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to end this video. I'm going to go ahead and upload it, because if I don't go ahead and upload it, it's going to end up trash like the other three. And then I'm going to get on the bike and I'm going to ride, see if that makes me feel better. Because I feel, keep feeling like my pulse is dropping too low or maybe my pressure is dropping too low. And I went down this road once before, um, a little over a year ago. And it is haunting me again. So, I don't know what's going on. But I just ate, so I'm going to take my uh, blood pressure pill and my aspirin. I'm going to upload this, do the thumbnail, all that combined. will take like 10, 15 minutes. And uh, then I'm going to uh, bike ride. And I might record myself uh, doing the biking video today. I'm not saying that I'm getting back in the swing of things of delivering three, four videos a day. I do not know because, uh, yeah, I have, I'm having my good days and my bad days. My good days and my bad days. But I'm doing what it is that I can do. 
And I want to thank you guys for watching the videos and for subscribing because my estimated revenue has increased. So hopefully this month I will actually receive my first paycheck. When I receive my first paycheck, they're going to come, come for it. They're going to come for it. Um, I'm going to have to pay a certain percentage for the medication. I'm going to have to pay a certain amount for rent, so on and so forth. And they're going to readjust the food stamps. So, <clears throat> you know, you do what you do. But I'm so glad that the uh, estimated revenue has increased. Uh, so I hope I get a check. I hope I get a check in November. So that is what is coming up, my people. That is what is coming up. Where it at? Where it at? That's right, sister. Just, just throw the stuff on the floor. <coughs> oh. I'll be taking my. Uh, I'll be taking my first bus ride soon. care of business, I will see <clears throat> what is around in the area. I'm glad, I'm glad people, I'm grabbing my medication, <clears throat> my blood pressure pill, and my uh, asthma sheet, my asthma on the floor. I don't know why I have so many asthma. I got like a lifetime supply. So I had bought a three pack from Amazon one time. I must have forgot that I had purchased it because I think I got, I got a three pack and then there's another bottle and I just I'm finishing this. I don't I don't take it every day. Unless I'm really just not well. But uh, yeah. So My first thought was to make some chicken, but I was like, you know, let me just grab this pizza. So I did not show you guys me putting this stuff together. It, was, it wasn't pretty. I'm definitely not going to show you <laughs> me putting this all together. <laughs> because a lot, I put a sofa together, I put a love seat together one time, and I put a sofa together one time. I was by myself, and I'm just like, you know, there was cussing. There was walking away from it. There was this damn SHIT stuff coming out of my mouth. But when I got it together, when I sat down, I was quite happy. Except for with that love seat. When I put that love seat together, I said, this thing hot. <laughs> I sat with through all that. Well, actually, the love seat was easy to put together. The way they did it, I, I, I got the love seat one time at Wayfair. I wouldn't advise it. The sofa was a bit of a headache getting the back on it. And I got that from Home Depot. That was really good quality. Um, this 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 sofa is coming from Walmart. Well, I'm ordering it through Walmart. It's coming from a different a third party, I, I believe. So, um, yeah, that's the day I have planned. And as you can see, I like a good girl, I took my medicine. Like a good girl, I took my medicine. I did. Let me bring you over here. Put my chair out again. Sit on down. This girl gonna sit on down. Oh, that's a 
at hand. Do a serious reach to get that uh, coffee cup. It is a big table. Maybe it probably look like a normal sized table to y'all. It, it's a big table to me because it's been a long time since I've had a table. And, uh, My computer keeps upgrading. And so, look at me. I'm wearing that shirt, a shirt <laughs> that needs a lot of adjusting. So I found these short pants. I was in a closet. And everything is in. This is why I keep deleting videos because I don't end it when the video is up. I keep talking. We're already 41 minutes into it and I could just end the video. Now I'm getting ready to tell you another story about something that you probably don't even, uh, <laughs> you don't even need to be told. Getting ready to explain to you why I chose this shirt. But I found some pants that had gotten a little tight back at the other place. No, I'm not one of those people who's going to tell you, you know, <laughs> I feel like I lost 23 ounces and going to come to you looking as big as I have been looking to you for the past five months and tell you that I can now fit into something, but I can fit into these shorts. <laughs> that was a little snug. Maybe I was just carrying a whole lot of water weight. I don't believe that I have lost anything. I ain't been here for, look, I've been here for what? Yesterday was two weeks. No, Friday was two weeks. I haven't lost anything. But uh, I just didn't feel, I had, I was gonna put on the leggings. And uh, I was like, oh, I feel like wearing all this. And so I said, let me put on the shorts. And so I grabbed these shorts, because the other ones, I didn't want to put on the short shorts, so I put on the, the shorts that, you know, come down close to the knee, because I know I was going to be walking around the outside today. And uh, I had to come out, I had to sock on with my sneakers, I had to come out of them just before I started this video. My foot started itching, so, you yeah. know. Maybe something, but I'm still wearing the sneakers. Maybe something was in the sock. It just started itching like crazy. I took the sock off and uh, the itch went away. So anyway, um, I had on a sleeveless shirt, but then I had to go outside for some air. And it was just a little too cool out there for a sleeveless shirt where I was standing. I wasn't with, with the sun was shining. So I'm just sitting here in this shirt that I have to keep readjusting. I don't have to readjust it unless I'm, when I'm not on camera. I, choose, I, I like to choose a shirt that does not need a whole bunch of adjusting when I'm on camera. And I can't stand it when my bra strap is showing, but you know, people it's just don't have to show because I'm not gonna sit here and do all of this. Yeah, I have seen bra straps before. I don't have nothing about All that talking about how the other, the other people all this, like, you look at you sitting up there with your bra straps on, doing all this fidgeting and stuff. You, you, got, you need to keep your mouth closed. Oh, get out of my face. <sighs> yeah, I said it. So people, thank you so very much for making all of this possible. I could not have done it without you. Without your help, um, this place would not be this furnished. Uh, it would have taken me about six months, about six months to get the pieces in that would just make me comfortable. So thank you so very much for answering the call, answering the cry, for um, understanding my, my, me being in begging mode, etc. Forgiving me for my attitude when I was all frustrated, so on and so forth. I want what I want and I want it now, people. I want what I want and I want it now and uh, 
I make no apologies and I make no excuses for uh, my behavior. Mm. I just feel I need what I need in order to, you know, feel my best. So, um, close mouth, don't get fed. You put out there what it is you want. And uh, disregard the people who stand against you asking for help. And appreciate the people who want to help but can't. And appreciate the people who can help and will. It is as simple as that. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, getting this place together. I'm looking forward to getting my health together. I'm looking forward to leaving the program. <sighs> Y'all know it's a new place. Same same kind of activity. Um, somebody somewhere in a unit somewhere nearby is doing something that is not legal. And I'm getting it. I just think it's strange that again, in the same, a totally different place, if I go near that sink, go in that kitchen, and it back in that closet, wow. I just think that's strange. Is what I think. I think this is what I think is strange. Is that I feel better when I'm outside. But it, the difference is it's not as constant. It's not constant like it was at the other place. There are times you can go in the kitchen. There's a lot of times you can go in the kitchen and feel no effects. And... Uh, Sometimes, <laughs> very few times, you could go back there in that closet. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah, but it's the closet, it's the bedroom, and, you know, it's the kitchen. So this wasn't supposed to be one of those videos where people, this channel is about life. It's about my life, and uh, it is what it is. I do not know. I do not know. So anyway. And uh, what I do know is all the uh, upholstered stuff that I have, I did not come here with it. I did not, but based on, <laughs> based on everything, that I'm, I'm discovering, I may as well have come here with. So I keep a fan blowing in the kitchen. And uh, I oftentimes keep the closet door open and a fan blowing through that too. But people are home. I'm home, it's different, it's, um, it's comfortable, it's peaceful, and every place you live, there's always going to be uh, a few flaws, and, uh, but overall, this place is comfortable, this place is peaceful, this place feels like home. Um, I feel happy here, I feel safe here, I feel uh, comfortable here, I feel... Um, I 
like it's the right place and a good place to be. I feel like things are going to get better here. And uh, <clears throat> I feel a whole lot more freedom here. I feel close to normal here. I just would like to get that fuse box fixed and I would like to get this uh, <laughs> this uh, odor that enters. I like to get that situation taken care of. But uh, the one thing I'm not doing is I'm not going to the leasing office to complain about it. I am not going to the housing program to complain about it. I'm just going to deal with it and I'm not going to make all my videos be about it. Because as I said, um, it is not constant. But when it comes, it just wipes me the heck out. It just wipes me the heck out. And it could be four days and nothing. And then it could be like that all weekend long. So. Um, that right there is a blessing. That right there is a blessing. And the reason I say I'm looking forward to getting out of the program is so that, you know, I can choose where to go. But this, believe it or not, I'm surprised that this place is, I'm surprised that the housing program was able to house people at this particular place. I really am surprised. Because this is a step up. This is, this is a big step up from most of the places they send you to. I'm a big one. Wow. Um, and with that said, there's still a lot of stuff in here that needs to be fixed. And they address things rather quickly. What I don't like, even though they address things rather quickly, what I don't like is, what, I'll tell you what I liked about the last place that I was in when the new management came. Um, <clears throat> if there was a problem with electrical, if there was a problem with plumbing, if there was a problem with, you know, they, they had a deal, an arrangement, a contract with people who specialize in all those areas. Here, it's just, um, a maintenance crew of people that know how to do odd jobs. And it's sort of like, and when they come in and do the work, it's sort of like, you know, your husband who wants to fix everything, but is not good at fixing anything. It's one of those situations, their maintenance team. They act quickly, but it's the quality of the work. And, you know, you might know how to cut the lawn, but you don't know. And you might know how to unclog a toilet or a sink, but you don't know how to put in an outlet. Um, if you put an outlet in correctly, nothing should be loose. The outlet itself, the plate on the wall, nothing should be loose. The outlet cover here should not be loose. When you finish fixing something, and everything should be secure. You shouldn't be able to go over to it and be able to move it at all. So I do not like stuff like that. Um, so the other place, that was the only thing that I liked about them is the new management came and they would actually send you an AC guy. Um, I think over there they were using a company called AirServe or something. And uh, they would send you an actual plumber. And these people would show up, you know, with big company name businesses <clears throat> on, all over their vehicle driving a company van. And here, 
But it's, it's just not like that. It's just, you know. Somebody who barely reads the insert of how to, you know, install an outlet. I mean, <clears throat> in my opinion, they're no more qualified than I am. They've just been doing it longer. But, um, yeah, that's, that's the only thing. That's the only thing. But, yeah, there are two outlets that have been replaced that don't need to be done again. And then uh, there are some other outlets that still need to be done. But that fuse box cannot sit like that. It cannot sit like that. <clears throat> and I took a little picture of it, so... Um, yeah. And those two GFC... What are they? GFIs or GFCIs? Uh, but I took a, <clears throat> they keep shutting off and it has nothing to do with the appliances. It's some, it's connected, it's the fuse box and it's the garbage disposal. And then you lose all the power to those and I need those for the coffee maker and you know, the air fryer, etc. And those are the only two outlets over there. There's not a whole lot of outlets there. So it, it's either the switch for the garbage disposal. Yes, yeah, the switch for the garbage disposal or the garbage disposal itself. And it's probably the, the fuse and the, the switch. But yeah, don't touch the, the fuse box. <clears throat> and it's so bad that when it, because I went and I looked at it, it was like, you know, it doesn't look like it tripped. And then and I'm still talking in this video. And I, I had a screwdriver with a rubber handle and I just, <clears throat> none, nothing seemed to have tripped. And I just tapped on the one for the garbage disposal. And there was a spark. And I saw the blue flash and I jumped back. But everything came back on in the kitchen. And so when it happened again, I realized it's the garbage disposal that's doing it. It's the garbage disposal that is doing it. And so I said, well, I ain't touching the fuse box. And I picked up, I have this long plunger. And I said, since that switch never tripped, went over to the other side the first time, or the last time that it happened, then, and I simply tapped on it, tapped on it, and everything came back on. I said, well, I ain't opening that, the door to it again. So I got the long plunger, and I might delete this video <laughs> to talk I got the long plunger, right? And I went over to it and I was like, and I just tapped the cover. I said, let's see what happens if I just tap the cover of the uh, fuse box. I tapped the cover and I came back into the kitchen and yeah, yeah, the lights were on the little GFC or whatever uh, outlets in the kitchen. The lights were on because before, yeah, I mean, it was off completely. The reset buttons wouldn't work, nothing. And so I came back in and, uh, yeah. But I was not gonna open the door. So there's something wrong with the fuse box. It's not even sitting in the wall the way it's supposed to be. And I, I can't believe nobody reported it. So that's what I'm going to have them do on, uh, on Monday is what I'm going to have them do. Tuesday, probably do it on Tuesday because on Monday I got a 9 to 6 wait. It depends on what time they come and pick this package up. Um, it depends on what time they come and pick this package up. 
So since I got a nine to six weight for the package pickup, all I'm going to do is I'm going to spend that my time um, getting some things in order. Seeing if there's anything else that needs to be thrown out. And uh, oh yeah, I got to do that on Monday. So t no, I'm not going to do it on Tuesday either. So I'll put in the maintenance request for it on Tuesday because I forgot. I Good thing I made this video because I was going to head out on Monday, take care of some business, but I forgot I got to wait for these people. If these people come early to pick up the package, then I'll go take care of the business that I need to take care of. And uh, if they don't come early, then I will um, take care of the business on Tuesday, but do the work order for the, uh, the issues here. is what I will do. So, do the work with on Tuesday and they'll probably come in. I do it to close the business. <laughs> and they'll probably come in on Wednesday or Thursday. So that is what my plan is. You know, I, I don't like waiting on people. So whenever I have a four hour window or six hour window to wait on somebody, I try to be as productive as I possibly can. Get stuff done. Because if I just sit around and wait, I get mad. <laughs> I'll get mad that you, I don't know why it's taking you so long, blah, 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 but I don't care about other people's time. Ain't you nobody know, got time to sit around and wait. So I just do stuff that needs to be done. And uh, when I have a. When I have to wait on somebody like that. Yeah. So tomorrow I'll be uh, organizing and exercising outside. Exercising outside is what I'll be doing. Every time I sit down at this table, it, it, people, the videos might get long. Because every time I sit down at this table, and every time I sit down in that chair to do a video for you guys, I just start talking about everything under the sun, and it just ends up being a long video. And I start telling you things that you really do not need to know. It's like information overload, so on and so forth. And I, I think about it. And I'm like, don't you put, don't you, do, don't put that video out there. <laughs> and so the problem is, it's very comfortable sitting here. I love the chairs that I chose. I love the space. I well, certainly do. And I, I went and I got the, uh, I don't know if you can see it back there. If you look back there on the bike, it's so dark over there. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. But there's a, a storage container. I couldn't grab that brown one because it was too heavy. Um, I went in the closet and I got the storage container that, you know, has my, some clothes that I reach for daily in it. And I grabbed a pillow off the bed and I made myself an item. And I put it right over there in front of that chair. And <laughs> I grabbed a, uh, it was a, a cloth shower curtain. And that was my throw. I grabbed that. I love the fabric of those two shower curtains that I had hanging up at the other apartment in the bedroom. And, uh, I knew that I didn't want to use those as curtains here or in the shower, um, I, I, in the bathroom, I knew I didn't want to. But the fabric is so pretty for those particular curtains. And uh, I got them at Ross. It's the ones with the horizontal stripes, the gray ones that were in the bedroom. 
and it feels so soft against your skin. So I made myself an ottoman. I uh, pushed it up to the chair. I got the other smaller laptop. And I got the shower curtain. And I sat there. Oh, and I grabbed the big European pillow. And I put that up at the top. And I was just like leaning back. And I kept, my eyes kept closing. And I kept dozing off. I got so comfortable. And I said, I'm going to drop this computer. I'm going to break it. And, uh. So finally I gave up and I, I got up and I went and I laid down in the bed. I said, because I was trying to watch TV and narrow down which sofa to order. And my eyes started closing. And I, I knew it was going to happen again because, you know, I found another one. <laughs> I found another one. But as I said at the start of this video, now I have made up my mind. <laughs> Yeah, I have made up my mind, but I, and I think I'm going, I'm going to go with the brown one. But I'm thinking that black would be sharp sitting over there with it. That black would be sharp sitting over there. <laughs> Let me stop. So <laughs> I'm not going to change my mind again. So anyway, whew. I got so comfortable sitting over there, and I had I did a video over there too before all of that, and uh, I was when I was sat down over there. I was going to upload it, but then I turned I turned on the TV, and then I went to the Walmart site, and I said, I'll upload that when I go to bed. I said, hey, I'll let it premiere, you know, close to midnight after midnight, and it has not been uploaded. Instead, I'm doing this one, and this one I'm actually going to upload. But it's just very comfortable sitting here at the table. It's very comfortable sitting over there. And I guess the more comfortable I am, the more, you know, talking I do. So that one that I did yesterday, I repeated, I think, some stuff in this video. But I'm probably going to upload that one. I don't think I embarrass myself too <laughs> I think I embarrass myself or bore the hell out of you too much in that other video. But I was sitting in there talking, I'm home, I'm home. <laughs> Took a pot shot to somebody who said, those chairs ain't going to be comfortable. Are you sure that's what you want? Outdoor furniture don't last long. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking about her when I did the video. I was like, uh -huh. And you said it wasn't going to be accountable. You said I wasn't going to lie. I can't. You said hey, nobody can tell me anything. Blah, blah, blah. Because I get an attitude. So. I was in that zone. Still sitting here. Still sitting here. Still sitting here. I am now going to... In this video, gonna go ahead, create a thumbnail, gonna upload it. I do thumbnail might. Ah! What was it? The thumbnail might be a picture of the table. I don't know. And again, this might be the thumbnail right here. Yeah, that's good right there. I'll do that. And See you in the next video. Stay safe, my people. Uh, remember to give someone hope today and every day because it's a very easy thing to do. Stay safe, stay focused, and stay true to yourself always. <sighs> Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Got a long work week ahead of all of us. Whether you have an outside job or just managing the household. Peace.